Hi, my name is Young John, and today we're going to talk about drones. So drones, they're like little helicopters with remote controls you can buy it at the store, stick a camera on it, and then fly it around while taking pictures. In theory, it sounds like a lot of fun, but sometimes stuff like this can happen. Ooh, that looked like it really hurt. I'm sure the guys who saw this decided, wait a minute, let's make something a little bit more fun so that you don't have to fiddle and worry about all of this stuff. Here's what these guys did. Wow, that was amazing. I want one of those, and I want one of those right now. The two uh, geniuses that thought of this, uh, their names are Antoine and Henry, and apparently they made this out of the basement of their university. Much like how uh, Steve Jobs and Bill Gates uh, created their own companies, Apple and Microsoft, in their parents' garages, these two geniuses have made a self-propelled flying copter with a built-in camera so that you don't have to worry about piloting it, but it'll follow you around and just take pictures. It's crazy, but it's true. Um, they're still working on a prototype, and I think they're still working out the kinks, but this is an amazing piece of tech, if it works correctly. But is it safe? Well, let's have some fun. You toss this thing in the air, it comes around, it takes a couple of pictures. So what if it starts chasing you? Then what are you gonna do? That thing can go as fast as 25 miles an hour, so you can't outrun it. That thing is waterproof, so you can't go jump in a river and hope that it just drowns. That thing has 20 minutes of battery charge, so you can't run around for 20 minutes uh, hoping that it'll die. What's the next best thing? Your only option is to run into a populated place and hopes it bangs into a bride and groom before it gets to you. Either that or you have to run into a forest or a whole bunch of buildings because apparently it doesn't have any sensors or gyros so it can't detect trees, buildings, people, or other things that it can run right into. So when you're in trouble, find a populated place because it's going to find something to whack itself into and it's not going to know what hit it. Thankfully, if you got lucky and managed to escape little lily and it's uh, banged itself into a tree or a bride and a groom, uh, you can always uh, switch out the propellers which you can buy spares of at their website. Uh, but apparently you can't swap out the battery because they wanted to make it waterproof and to do that they have to seal it all around. So it'll be just like an iPhone. Who needs to replace a battery? Just buy a new iPhone. Right, so you're back at home and lily needs charging. It takes her two hours to charge fully so in the meantime, you can take out the micro SD card and watch in glorious full HD, 1080p, 60 frames per second, all the running away. Oh my God, Lily's chasing me now. And 
and the audio has been recorded too, by the way, inside the tracker on your wrist. Despite all the craziness and all the things that can go wrong, I think this is a fantastic product and I want one myself. Uh, the thing is, uh, you can pre-order before June 15th for an introductory price of $499 because the regular price is supposed to be a thousand bucks. Okay, I'm wrong, I'm lying. It's 999 bucks. Uh, but 500 bucks isn't too bad for something that flies itself. It's slated to ship on February 2016, so they'll take your money now and they'll ship it out to you later. You can have it in any color you like, as long as it's black. For more information, check out www.lily.camera. That's L-I-L-Y dot camera.